Whew, okay. <clears throat> Better close that gate so the dogs don't come in here. Jack, go get your bed. Go get your bed. You know, if people were actually watching this, I would have probably edited that out, but it literally doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so thoughts for the day. Uh, whew. You know, bit of a dramatic day for a Saturday. Good in some ways, uh, not great in others. Um, I don't think I've actually like stopped to sit and like breathe. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I've just been like going. That's just like the theme of my life lately, which is fine, but it's often not until I like just sit down and like take a breath and I'm like, "Oh my god. I mean, I haven't even been like breathing all day. <laughs> I've just been running around like crazy." Uh, okay. Well, Unpacking the day a little bit, and then uh, you know, we can talk about some theming. Uh, super frustrated last night. Um, well, really this morning, my so my neighbors moved out about a week ago, my upstairs neighbors, and they were so fucking loud at night, like it would be midnight and they would be sprinting upstairs. And eventually we got on good terms and I like told them to shut the hell up at midnight and they were like, okay. So it was fine for a while, but I started sleeping with earplugs and uh, that was great. I got used to it and it kind of drowned everything out. I don't sleep with an alarm. I just wake up and I get up. And so that didn't really like and I don't keep my phone in my room. It's like a rule of mine. So phones in the other room, earplugs in. I can't hear my phone anyway, even if it were to go off. So uh, when they moved out a week ago, I just, I stopped using earplugs because I could. Uh, and that was awesome. And now I sleep great without them. Um, but for whatever reason, at six or seven this morning, some freaking idiot was upstairs um, in the apartment above me, like, I guess it was the, I don't know, could have been the property manager, could have been cleaner, I don't know, but walking around and causing just a bunch of noise, and I was like, this would happen, this is New York for you, and, uh, so anyways, put my earplugs in, just to, like, drown it out, thinking that I would probably hear my alarm go off in this room, where my, where I keep my phone, and, uh, the reason that's important now why I have an alarm. Um, sorry, that didn't make any sense. <laughs> the reason that's important is because now I do have an alarm because Layla has to have her insulin and her food at a certain time. So I have my reminders, I have my alarms and everything set. Well, I didn't hear it go off this morning. Of course I didn't hear it go off this morning. And so I, I get up, I'm like, man, I feel fairly rested. That was nice. And then I look at the time and it's like an hour past when I was supposed to feed her and give her her medicine. And when moments like that happen, I just, I forget about myself and I'm just like, okay, I have to like deal with this problem. So I, you know, I didn't, drink my glass of water. I didn't drink my mushroom coffee. I just like went straight into like, get the food made, get her insulin in. But she's been really picky with her food lately. So, uh, I don't know why, it's such a fucking long story. Um, so <laughs> she wouldn't eat her food and it was just super, super frustrating. And I was already on edge because I was late giving her food and her insulin. And, uh, and I just, I, man, I like, I freaking lost it again. 
and you know this time felt a little bit different like I, I feel like I have some grace on myself because I know that my anger and my frustration in this scenario is because frankly like I have no control over it I have no control over Layla's health outside of giving her insulin and a lot of insulin um, I have no control over the outcome when she dies how long she lives for none of that so there's this combination of doing as much as I can to be in control while having no control and you know the upstairs neighbor is a good example of it um, thinking I'm gonna hear my alarm good example of it it's just a series of events that like I could not and did not control despite my best efforts um, so that set me on just kind of like a really annoyed trajectory, but beyond the annoyance, it was kind of like to kind of add on to Layla, go lay down, baby. Go lay down. Poor thing because of her diabetes, she drinks a ton of water. And it's always when I record that she does something. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, back to control. Um, despite our best efforts of, of wanting to be in control of the situation, we, we actually don't. Like, I'm a pretty big believer that control is an illusion. Like, I don't, I don't think that it's necessarily real. I think we have some control over aspects of our lives. And, um, but the things that we really often want the most control over, uh, we don't have it. And we're forced to sort of forego that, um, probably in the interest of just being a decent human and letting things go and not holding on so tightly to things that you have to control the outcome. Um, but, I love this dog and it's just taken so much out of me. And this morning was a really good example of feeling just completely depleted and discouraged and tired. And Layla, no, no. <clears throat> and I feel like I hit my threshold. Oh, um, <laughs> I just realized the irony of this whole, like, video and having a minute to myself, turning on the camera and the light and getting the room set up and being like, okay, a moment that I have to myself that I can control what's happening around me. And literally three different times, you know, a dog gets up and drinks water. A dog gets up and wants to come in here. A dog gets up and starts chewing on her bone. And I can't even remotely focus. It's just hilarious. Um, and, you know, that this lack, this lack of control that we have should induce patience. But often in, instead it, it, it induces um, irritability and frustration and I mean of course it's a conflation of a lot of things there's no one reason that we just get angry well there is sometimes but in this scenario there's a lot that's happening that is just bringing immense stress into my my life <clears throat> oh, man even having trouble just like feeling like I don't have stress in my chest as I'm doing this video I need to take a couple breaths.
I'm, I'm going to go back and watch this and, and be able to feel the anxiety that I was putting out. Um, I had a conversation with my parents tonight and it and my vet earlier and it it feels like I'm I'm getting to that point where I'm going to have to put Layla down. Um and I think if I'm being really honest there are a few components of that that are frustrating beyond just losing my dog. And one of those is that since I've had, well, I guess, yeah, since I've had dogs, they have this way of just, if you don't have dog insurance, which when I started getting my dogs, like that just wasn't even financially, it didn't even make sense because you got like a 10% payout on a claim. Now it's a lot better, I think, but I haven't had I haven't had insurance for them, so everything's out of pocket, whatever. Um, but it's a money pit and um, and I love them and I've done everything for them that I can, literally everything. Um, they didn't, they've never been boarded. Um, if I ever leave, I have a dog sitter that comes and stays at the place and at my apartment and watches them and walks them and, you know, um, they've always had good food and, you know, lots of walks and runs and medication. And I feel like I've done an okay job at taking care of them. Um, but yeah, then there's this frustrating component of now getting to the point where one of them is, you know, really not doing well, not terminal, but this diabetes is like taking a real big toll on her. And, you know, I know she doesn't feel great. I know that with more treatment, she'll probably feel a little bit better, but she is an older dog. So, you know, I've been trying to wrap my head around um, feeling like putting her down is the compassionate thing to do. And I have been putting it off. I've, I've, I've had dates in my head about when it's going to happen and then I don't do it. And anybody who has a dog and has gone through this knows exactly what I'm talking about. And there's no good time for it. There's only a bad time for it. There are some worse times than others, but there's really no great time. And, um, you know, I've been wrestling with this for a month. Um, and I'm beat. I'm really tired. And I want to do right by her. But part of this feels selfish because I really, I feel like I'm almost doing it for me. Um, you know, today was just a really good example that, like, I don't have control over this situation and I'm really tired from it. And um, yeah, I'm just kind of depleted. And I know she is too, she's exhausted. Uh, let's see, I think, you know, I was thinking about what I was gonna say tonight and, and it was not this long story, but I guess I needed to share it because it came out. Um, but kind of final thought, somewhat related. Um, I kind of like this idea of having some sort of a theme or idea, bigger idea for the day that kind of sums things up. Um, it's a nice way for me to look back on the day and then kind of summarize it and um, just remember some of the details and remember some of the things that I was thinking and feeling. Um, I feel like a decent writer and I like writing this stuff, but I overthink <laughs> and something that should be a 10 minute blog turns into a three day essay and it's just, you know, this is way better um, for this type of thing. 
So I think moving forward, I'm going to keep trying to like improve on this idea and improve on this, this, this type of like journaling thing that I'm doing and um, maybe ascribe to it some sort of bigger idea for the day to help me reflect. Um, I think today's big idea, big theme is that we are not in control. And the more that we think we're in control, probably being fooled by ourselves. And the more we try to hold on to things really, really tightly, um, the harder it is to let them go. And I'm going to be a wreck if I choose to put her down in a week, but I have to be willing to let that go. So uh, if you struggle with control, like I do, then know that you're not alone. And we all want to control things. We all want to control the outcome. And most of the time, sometimes things go our way and sometimes they don't. Um, and that is just life, I guess. <sighs> so, all right. I think this video is twice as long as I wanted it to be. Um, oh, of course, I didn't say it. What's the date? Sixth? Two, three, four, five. Yes, today's the sixth day. January 6, 2024. Um, <clears throat> and I'm in my apartment in Brooklyn, Crown Heights specifically. And um, yeah, it was gross today. It's like wet and freezing and f the flurry was kind of nice, but it lasted for like two minutes. Um, yeah, it was, a, it, was a, it was a tough day, but a, it, was a, it was a decent day. Um, all right, tomorrow is, uh, is day seven. Pretty exciting. Am I getting that right? Day six, day seven. Yeah, it's bedtime. Uh, it's been real. To my future self watching this, keep going. <laughs> Good night.